Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining to my talk today. Uh, I'm going to speak about um, uh, dates and timestamps uh, uh, types in Apache Spark uh, 3.0. Uh, my name is uh, Maxim Gek. I'm software engineer at uh, Databricks. Uh, uh, before uh, engineering position, I worked at the um, support line work at, uh, at customer uh, problems, uh, issues. Uh, here you, you can see my GitHub uh, account. So uh, I contributed uh, to uh, Apache Spark uh, almost uh, uh, two and a half years already. Uh, uh, so our agenda today is, uh, is cover mostly uh, uh, two types, uh, day type and timestamp type and uh, uh, changes uh, we made uh, in uh, Apache Spark uh, version three. And uh, uh, we will talk about uh, calendars, uh, how to construct the date type, data, date columns, uh, what is a session time zone, how it impacts on the uh, uh, date and timestamp uh, values. Uh, also, we will sp uh, speak about uh, some special ranges uh, for these types. Uh, and uh, internal views uh, uh, on date and type columns, uh, how Spark actually and uh, Catalyst uh, see these uh, this values uh, internally. And uh, also we will uh, uh, see how to uh, collect uh, and uh, parallelize uh, dates and timestamps from, uh, from the application. Uh, see, uh, uh, I also put a link uh, to my blog post uh, uh, which uh, I wrote uh, together with uh, my colleagues, uh, Venchen and Hergen. And uh, uh, you can uh, find some, some details uh, there. So dates, uh, uh, date and calendar, why I, we put it together. So dates, uh, so uh, Catalyst have uh, uh, more than 10 different uh, types uh, and uh, date uh, one of them. and. Uh, uh, calendar uh, related to dates because uh, it uh, impacts on the, uh, how we represent the uh, dates uh, to, to the users uh, when we uh, extract uh, some, uh, some fields uh, like a year or months uh, or day. So uh, I would say data uh, could be represented, uh, any date value could be represented as a triple of year, months, and day, plus uh, some constraints. So constraints uh, uh, could be applied to, to, to data fields, as well as uh, how we um, apply arithmetic and other uh, operation to dates. So uh, for example, if we look at the constraints for the year, so according to uh, SQL standard, uh, uh, year should be in the range from one to 10,000 uh, exclusive. Uh, and uh, Spark uh, follows this uh, uh, SQL standard uh, and allow the users uh, specify years in this range. Also, it's obvious uh, months should be in the range from one to, to 12. Uh, about dates, it's, uh, it depends on the months, right? Uh, so it could be from one to 28 up or uh, 29, 30, or 31. So it depends on the year and months. This this kind of uh, obvious constraints, but not obvious constraints come from the calendar uh, used in, in inside system. For example, Spark uh, before version three, up to version 2.4, uh, internally Spark used a hybrid calendar, which is actually Julian calendar before uh, 1582 year uh, and uh, plus Gregorian calendar. So some kind of combination of two, two calendars. Uh, starting from version three, Spark uh, switched uh, to uh, proleptic uh, Gregorian calendar. So, and uh, uh, as we were speaking before about constraints, it's impact on the constraints because uh, some dates uh, exist in one calendar. For example, some dates in Julian calendar uh, doesn't exist in proleptic Gregorian calendar and uh, some dates in Gregorian also uh, uh, 
don't exist in Julian calendar. We will speak about this uh, uh, on the next uh, uh, on the next slides. Uh. And uh, also uh, uh, internally, uh, because we switched uh, from one calendar to another, uh, Spark, uh, uh, starting from version three, uh, Spark uh, uh, switched from Java uh, 7 time API uh, to Java 8 uh, time API. And um, so it impact on the internal operation when we uh, uh, need to apply some arithmetic operation like at uh, uh, a few days uh, to current date, for example. Also, it impacts on the parallelization of uh, external collections and uh, collecting dates and timestamp from Spark to uh, user applications. And um, uh, yeah, and uh, if we look at the uh, PySpark or Spark R, they already support Proelectric Gregorian calendar, but uh, Java or Scala application needs to be adjusted uh, for new calendar. And uh, uh, and uh, below the slides, you can see a um, uh, link uh, to um, uh, Spark issue, which uh, uh, this is some kind of umbrella of uh, uh, all tickets uh, related to switching to Proelectric Gregorian calendar. Uh, if you if you open this uh, uh, link, uh, you can see uh, many issues solved uh, uh, during uh, uh, switching uh, to, to new calendar. So because Julian calendar is uh, uh, was used in previous uh, Spark version, it's important to highlight uh, some uh, some details uh, of Julian calendar. So initially, it was proposed by Julian Caesar, so uh, many many years uh, ago. And uh, this is, was the uh, first uh, calendar after uh, Romain calendars, uh, which was pretty complicated uh, and based on lunar calendar, uh, based on moon phases. Uh, Julian calendar, uh, this is the first solar solar uh, calendar and, uh, and it's, it's more precise. So it has uh, uh, two types uh, of years. Uh, so uh, normal years and uh, uh, leap years. And normal year uh, has um, uh, 365 days, uh, but leap year, which happens uh, uh, every four years, uh, has uh, uh, 366 days. So an average year, uh, it's, uh, uh, it's around uh, 365.25 uh, days long. It's pretty, pretty, um, uh, close to actual solar solar day, but uh, uh, there is uh, some kind of error, and uh, yeah, that's why uh, this uh, calendar was uh, uh, replaced, uh, and uh, and at uh, uh, 1582 year by another one. But Julian calendar is still used uh, in uh, some areas in Africa, for example, or Russian Orthodox uh, Church still use uh, Julian calendar. Gregorian calendar. This was um, much more, uh, this calendar was uh, introduced by uh, Pope Gregory at October uh, 1582. And uh, it, uh, it still has two types of years, but uh, uh, leap years, uh, which is uh, divisible by four, uh, uh, it's, uh, it's not leap year. So, uh, comparing to uh, Julian calendar. And uh, because of this uh, uh, exception and uh, uh, Gregorian calendar, it's slightly more precise than Julian one. And uh, it's uh, adopted by many, many countries around the world. Uh, for example, uh, in, 80, uh, in 1582, uh, Spain, Portugal, France, and other European countries adopted this calendar but uh, Saudi Arabia or uh, Saudi Arabia, for example, just adopted it just uh, 2018, so just a few years ago. So, and uh, uh, if we um, uh, let's let's compare this uh, two two uh, calendar system, so in uh, hybrid calendar and proleptic Gregorian one, so up to Spark uh, 3.0. Uh, 
uh, in all internal modules and comp components uh, based on hybrid calendar. And uh, starting from the version three, uh, everything was re uh, rewritten. And um, for now, uh, all internal functions use, uh, use uh, proleactic Gregorian calendar. And uh, also uh, to achieve this, uh, Spark uh, switched uh, to uh, Java 8 uh, time API, which uh, actually follow uh, GSR, uh, uh, GSR uh, 310. So, and uh, 310 project and uh, Yoda, Yoda project. And uh, if we, uh, so previously I talked uh, about uh, some some days which are presented in one calendar but uh, don't present in another one. Um, for for example, in hybrid calendar dates uh, between uh, uh, 1582 uh, uh, 4 October and uh, 15 October, uh, this uh, those days uh, uh, don't exist in hybrid calendar. Uh, but uh, some some days, uh, uh, some old days, uh, uh, some. Uh, uh, days uh, in leap year uh, don't exist uh, in the proleptic uh, Gregorian calendar. For example, uh, thousand, uh, in thousand year, this is um, uh, a leap year in hybrid calendar, but is, it is not leap year in proleptic Gregorian one. And uh, why I'm, I'm talking about these days? Because, uh, for example, when you uh, parse, parse uh, uh, input dates, uh, Spark, uh, if it cannot parse uh, these dates, uh, will uh, output some errors uh, or uh, uh, return nulls if it cannot uh, uh, recognize these dates according to, to the current calendars. This is important. And, um, and also it impacts on the loading uh, dates uh, from uh, external data sources. Uh, on the uh, left uh, left uh, column, you, you can see the uh, link to the uh, Jira ticket uh, where uh, such kind of um, errors uh, uh, was uh, resolved. Uh, for example, we introduced special operation rebasing uh, via local dates, uh, rebasing from one calendar to another one. And uh, we do it uh, in uh, by loading or saving uh, uh, dates and timestamps uh, to all built-in uh, data sources like uh, Parquet, Org, uh, uh, Avro data sources. And uh, why? What is was the reason to switch to to new calendar? Because um, this proleptic uh, Gregorian calendar is actually required by uh, SQL standard, as I uh, said before. And uh, it's confirmed to uh, so following to to this uh, calendar allows us to confirm to ISO, ISO standards. Also, this calendar is, uh, is used by uh, broadly used uh, uh, data, um, databases like PostgreSQL, MySQL, SQLite uh, uh, use this calendar. And um, um, let's talk uh, about uh, constructing dates. So uh, in uh, Spark uh, version three, we uh, uh, added a new function. Uh, it's called uh, make data. It's uh, for now. It's uh, uh, this function is available only in uh, uh, in, in C Spark SQL, uh, but uh, in the future we will add it uh, to to other APIs as well. So this uh, function takes uh, uh, th three columns uh, of uh, in type. Uh, if a uh, column doesn't have uh, in type, uh, Spark will try to uh, cast uh, these columns uh, to, 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 to require the uh, type. This is one of the uh, way to construct uh, uh, dates. Another one is uh, parallelization of um, uh, external types. You can uh, create a collection of um, uh, Scala or Python uh, uh, dates uh, or timestamp and uh, submit it uh, to Spark. Uh, basically, creates a, a data set uh, from this uh, collection. And before uh, the version three, 
uh, in Spark 2.4 or earlier versions, uh, Spark uh, can recognize uh, only Java SQL date and Java uh, SQL timestamp type. But starting from version three, Spark also recognize uh, uh, Java Java type uh, time uh, local date and uh, Java time instant type. So you can create a collection of these uh, uh, types uh, and uh, parallelize it, uh, and basically create a, a data set from this collection. So uh, another uh, feature added in, in version three, it's uh, constructing uh, uh, dates from uh, uh, type, uh, type it literals. So uh, you can uh, specify the string and uh, the special word data before the string. Uh, and Spark will try to uh, convert uh, this data, uh, this string uh, to data. Um, so, uh, yeah. And uh, uh, another way, uh, so it's uh, uh, using a special built-in function to date. So this uh, this function internally uses uh, date date for matter. This is a special class uh, provided by uh, Java API, and the same function, uh, the same functionality internally uh, used in uh, JSON or CSV uh, data sources. But uh, uh, while we implemented uh, this uh, feature, we faced uh, to a few um, uh, errors or a few uh, some kind of incompatibilities uh, between Java 7 and Java 8 API. And uh, we, dis we uh, in, in Spark 3.0, we introduced a special flag uh, legacy time, time uh, parser policy. And if you observe uh, some, some issues or sometimes when uh, Spark sometimes cannot parse uh, your dates, uh, you can try to set uh, this uh, uh, SQL config uh, to legacy uh, value and, uh, and Spark will switch internally to previous parser and uh, uh, try to parse uh, incoming dates uh, using uh, uh, old uh, formatter or old uh, parser. Um, one more uh, uh, approach of for constructing dates it's create a current data and uh, uh, current date this is a special uh, functions which is uh, recognized by the analyzer and uh, at the beginning uh, of the uh, start of your query uh, analyzer takes uh, the current uh, data and uh, save it uh, to the special special value and and replace all your current uh, data function calls by this uh, data at the beginning of the query. Um, yeah, and uh, uh, if we uh, look at the parsing, uh, so uh, to to be uh, more convenient and be compatible with uh, Postgres. Uh, uh, Spark, uh, uh, starting from version three, has uh, special special values uh, for dates uh, and uh, timestamps. If uh, it sees epoch uh, or uh, epoch uh, uh, string in the in, in the input, it automatically replaces uh, epoch uh, with uh, uh, 19, uh, seven, uh, uh, first January of uh, 1970 year, and. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's applicable in all cases. Uh, in all cases of uh, converting strings uh, to dates, I mean, when you convert uh, type it literals, or uh, apply cast, or um, uh, parsing uh, dates uh, from the CSV or JSON. So uh, every, everywhere, if a Spark sees these special values, it converts it uh, to uh, to uh, uh, to, to, to special dates. Uh, another one, it's, uh, it's now. So now it's uh, some kind of, uh, for dates uh, now is equivalent to current, uh, current date actually. And uh, so basically it's the uh, beginning of the query, uh, dates begin at the beginning of the query. Um, this, the, same, the same is uh, for, for, for today. And uh, 
tomorrow and uh, yesterday is obvious uh, the day uh, tomorrow is the day after current day and yesterday uh, day before current day this is uh, special special values uh, um, added add uh, add uh, starting from the version 3 unfortunately it's not available in, in version 2.4 but if if you like it so you you need to switch to the new spark version and uh, uh, so if we uh, look at the um, at the whole range of dates, uh, uh, we can actually divide this range on on, on three ranges uh, uh, from first year uh, year one uh, to uh, 1582. Uh, there is a difference in the behavior between Spark 2.4 and uh, 3.0. 2.4 uh, uses Julian calendar, and uh, but version three uh, switched to proleptic Gregorian calendar. So the difference, as I uh, told before, uh, some dates don't exist in uh, in, in proleptic Gregorian calendar. And uh, in this uh, particular cases, uh, if uh, Spark, for example loads these dates uh, from external data sources like uh, from Parquet and uh, see these dates are not available in the target calendar. Spark will uh, take uh, the next uh, valid date. Uh, for this particular case, uh, um, 29th uh, February of uh, uh, 1000 year, 1000 year. So if Spark 3.0 sees uh, this, uh, this date, it will take the next one. Next one is uh, uh, March 1st. And um, yeah, this is how rebasing uh, uh, works. If you don't, don't like this behavior, you can uh, uh, turn off uh, special, special flags. Uh, uh, we have special flags uh, for, for reading and, and writing. Um, the next range, it's a, a range from um, 4th uh, October to uh, 14th uh, October uh, 1582 year. Uh, this uh, year, uh, this range, uh, this, uh, years from this range uh, don't exist in Spark 2.4 because calendar, hybrid calendar doesn't have it. So, and uh, in Spark 2.4, this, uh, this, any years from this range will be shifted to next, next weighted one. And uh, yeah, th uh, this is their behavior as is. Sir. And uh, but Spark 3.0, it's able to load it without any problems. Next, uh, next ranges uh, up to uh, 10,000 here. And both uh, Spark 3.0 and uh, 2.4 conform to NC SQL standard and uh, they work uh, in the same way. There is no difference. Uh, Let's look uh, how internally Spark uh, saves days. Uh, um, for example, if you uh, have dates like a string and uh, or, or load dates from external data sources uh, like from Avro, so Spark uh, takes the input and uh, convert uh, uh, string or another integer along uh, to isomor isomorphic uh, representation some kind of um, uh, uh, number, uh, counting number uh, from, uh, from the epoch. Epoch for, for Spark, it's uh, uh, 1970 year, first uh, January of uh, 1970 year. And uh, this is just, just a counter. So, and, uh, and uh, when, uh, for example, you request, uh, year or months uh, from uh, from the date spark have to uh, take this number and um, convert it uh, to the year using a calendar this is why a calendar is important here as we told before so for for uh, for years uh, before uh, 1970 year before before the epoch uh, years are negative uh, and the years after this date uh, are positive from so this is, uh, so uh, yeah. Uh, 
time, time stamp and uh, the time zones. Uh, and uh, uh, comparing to uh, to dates, times, time stamp uh, depends also on uh, time zones. Uh, so additional. So if we if we uh, represent time stamp as a uh, product of year, month, day, or uh, hour, or seconds, uh, uh, plus uh, constraints like calendar, additional additional constraints is a ses session time zone. And uh, uh, so, looking at the uh, constraints uh, for for year, months, and dates, constraints are the same. And by it, uh, for hours, minutes, and seconds, uh, it's uh, for hours uh, up to uh, could be up to uh, 23 for minutes up to from zero to 58. So interesting seconds uh, could be represented uh, with a fraction part. Uh, Spark uh, supports uh, uh, fraction up to microseconds uh, uh, precision. And um, so uh, uh, speaking about other constraints, uh, actually the same as a day for dates, uh, Spark uh, supports uh, uh, starting uh, from the version three, uh, as well as uh, uh, the same as for for dates, uh, Spark switched to proleptic Gregorian calendar, comparing to version two uh, two dot four, which is based on hybrid one. And the uh, session time zone is uh, is taken from the uh, uh, session uh, SQL config uh, Spark SQL session time zone. So, uh, what what is the uh, main difference uh, between local dates and uh, times timestamps? Uh, uh, dates are, by the nature, it's uh, it's local. It doesn't depends on time zone. But time timestamps, especially Sparks uh, timestamp, it's basically instant. So it uh, uh, defines con concrete uh, time instant on the Earth. And uh, Uh, yeah, and uh, how it's uh, converted to local timestamp, it depends on the SQL, SQL config, which uh, can has, uh, uh, could be specified in two different uh, uh, ways. You can specify it as a uh, zone offset, or you can specify it as a, as a region ID, like uh, America plus uh, some cities like uh, Los Angeles. Also, you can set uh, alias for zone of sets like UTC or Z. Spark, uh, to, to convert a region ID to zone of sets, Spark uses uh, uh, some capabilities, some APIs from underlying uh, libraries from, uh, from GDK, basically. So uh, resolving uh, time zones uh, has many, many, many issues, sir. And, uh, uh, for example, if you specify uh, time zone as an offset, there is no problem. But uh, problem uh, appears uh, uh, appear when you uh, set region ID. Uh, in this example, you can see Java Java seven uh, returns uh, eight hours, uh, but uh, Java eight returns uh, uh, seven hours uh, fifty uh, two uh, minutes uh, fifty uh, uh, eight uh, seconds. That's why because uh, Java, Java 8 is more precise. And, uh, and uh, before November 18th, uh, 1553, so each city uh, in the United States is, is, uh, had uh, their own offset. That's why we see the difference. So, and switching to, to new calendar and switching to new Java 8 API, Spark 3.0 becomes more precise. And uh, also problem can happen when, when you uh, switch your, uh, um, your time back, for example, switching from winter or, uh, to, to summertime or su from summertime to, to winter time. Also there is difference be because uh, Spark 3.0 takes uh, su uh, summertime in the case of overlapping Spark 2.4 takes winter time. Uh, if you want to avoid these, uh, these problems, you can you can set uh, time zone as an offset. Um, so if we uh, compare Spark's, uh, Spark uh, timestamp uh, with SQL timestamp, what, what is the difference? So the difference uh, is uh, 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 Spark's uh, timestamps, basically it's a timestamp with session time zone. 
So and uh, it, it means uh, you have uh, columns uh, of uh, timestamps uh, and uh, one times the time zone, uh, which is applied to all values in the column. Uh, this is different uh, uh, from SQL timestamp with uh, uh, time zone because uh, according to SQL standard time zone should be applied uh, to, to all values and all values in the column, any values in the column can have different time zone. And it's completely different from timestamp without time zone because it doesn't have timestamp. So uh, here on this slide, you can see how to construct it. So basically it ha uh, has the same ways as, as for days as we discussed before. And uh, uh, here, uh, uh, here, uh, uh, this slide's about uh, parallelization. How to how to construct uh, uh, timestamp column uh, from 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 collections. Uh, so uh, important uh, aspects. Uh, it's when you construct it. Uh, uh, um, Actually, uh, you should take into account uh, what is the time zone is used. Uh, so usually, uh, when if you construct it from Python collection, Python takes system time zone, and uh, it could be different from Spark uh, session. So uh, the same is for for Scala for Scala collections. So uh, ranges uh, all the same for the dates, except uh, some, some ranges. For example, uh, I would highlight uh, uh, year to, uh, 2037. So, and starting from this uh, 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 date, uh, from this year, there is difference between Spark 2.4 and 3.0. So, to, uh, and uh, 2.4 has uh, some, some problems resolving uh, time zones. Uh, you can you can see it's a GDK bug, so Spark uh, 3.0 doesn't have such bug. So uh, as as for dates, uh, uh, internal view, so and uh, Spark stores uh, uh, timestamps as an offset uh, from uh, from the epoch as uh, and stores as, as their eight bytes, and uh, yeah, pretty similar to to, to dates. Yeah, collecting uh, collecting uh, and dates have similar similar behavior. So uh, only the difference uh, uh, from uh, yeah, it's uh, instead of local date you have to set uh, instant uh, instant type, uh, and uh, you can you can switch uh, the behavior using uh, Spark SQL date uh, Java eight API config. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs>